Next into the den is Fan Yang, an entrepreneur whose comfort zone is cuisine rather than commerce. So I don't have a business background. However, I'm quite adventurous in terms of food. I create something quite unusual and I hope dragons will like it. What is a I think they are dried mushrooms. Just don't eat too many of the mushrooms, Tuka. We start seeing things. <laughs> Despite her limited entrepreneurial experience, Fan's been doing all she can to prepare. I've been binge-watching Dragon's Den, and uh, all I can say is that I try my best to memorize everything, all the figures and data, things like that, but I will do my best for sure. Hello, dragons. My name is Fan. I'm the founder of Other Foods. We are specialized in mushroom-based snacks, targeting alternative healthy snack market. Today, I'm here asking 60,000 for 10% equity share of my company. What we have here on the table are our current range of products, and uh, the number one bestseller is crunchy shiitake mushroom. We officially launched it into Whole Foods Market in 2019, and we are now available in more than 500 stores, including Ocado, Holland Barrett, Harvey Nichols, Selfridges. And last year, our total turnover is 320K, and estimated net profit is around 90K. And Please feel free to try some of the products from the sample box and I'm ready to take questions. Mushroom snacks are the offering from Fan Yang. When you're eating it, it's quite noisy, isn't it? Was it really annoying it you? Was, it was really <laughs> starting to really aggravate me. I'm, I'm so sorry. Fan is looking for £60,000 in exchange for a 10% share in her business. That makes it even more attractive to me, Peter. It was like, no, 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 it's like, no, no, no. The product is proving problematic to Peter Jones's sense of hearing, but it's the flavour that has stirred Sarah Davies' taste buds. Fam. Yes, hi, um, Sarah. I think they're wonderful. I'll be really honest, when we were waiting for you to come through the lift doors, my heart sunk a little bit when I saw they were mushroom crisps but actually they're so tasty. So as a health conscious shopper, if I'm stood and I've got mushroom crisps or I've got potato crisps, why am I gonna choose these ones? You live in Britain and British people, they are lacking of vitamin D. They are high in vitamin D, get those. High in vitamin D. Talks on the back about gut health? Yes, gut health because they are full of fiber. Okay, but is it quite widely known what the benefits of mushrooms are and I just didn't happen to know them? I would say mushrooms are gaining popularity at the moment mm -hmm. and people are starting to uh, getting the idea of food as medicine. Excellent. That, that was what I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they actually taste really nice. Oh, lovely. So, has this been done before? Uh, this product is actually widely available in Southeast Asia. OK, and you've started selling. You've done very well. You've got into basically everybody, all the retail stores. Oh, thank you. So what gross margin are you making on the product? Um, averagely around 33% and net profit around 18%. Do you sell any on your own website? Not at the moment. We do sell that online on Ocado and uh, Amazon Prime. So Amazon Prime reviews, what are they saying? Uh, we got around 2.5 star out of 5. 2.5 stars out of 5? Yes, for shiitake. Why? Because people love it. No, wait, 2.5 out of 5. Sorry, 4.5 out of 5. I was going to say, I was going to yes. say people sorry. hate it. I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, yeah. When it comes to counting stars, Fan has failed to shine. But has Deborah Meaden spotted something more seriously amiss with the entrepreneur's business numbers? I just want to go through your... Um, your... Figures. So you talk about a 320,000 
turnover. Um, and a, did you say a 33% gross profit? Uh, yeah, a uh, gross margin. Net margin around 18%. Uh, but did you also then say your net profit was 90,000? Uh, yeah, this year. Estimated. OK, so what's 20% of 320,000? Uh, sorry? What's 20% of 320,000? Um, what's 10% of 320,000? Uh, 30,000. 32,000. Yeah. So what's 20%? Um, 60. Right, 64,000. Yeah. So you're saying your net profit is 18%, yeah. which is going to be around about 60,000. You're telling me the net profit's 90,000. OK. Which is actually 30% of your turnover, not 18% of your turnover. Yeah. So I'm just trying to work your margin out. Because your margins aren't making any sense. So the the reason why I say it's estimated um, around 90k is because we sort of use that total number as guidelines. Yep. OK, but if I was estimating, knowing that my net profit was 18%, I'd make my net profit 18%? Should I run the figures from the past three years and until now? If you've got them, okay. you give them to me. So on the first year? Um, total turnover was 60k and we made a loss of 77k. Okay. And the next year, um, the total turnover is 408k and uh, a net profit is 32k. And the third year was 226k. And then it's, um, we break even. And last year seems. Okay, so yeah. the, the hint isn't in there. We keep talking about an 18% net profit. Yeah. You haven't done that yet, ever. You haven't made any money at all, and your numbers don't make sense. Fan's self-confessed lack of business now has been exposed. Now the Dragons want to discover if she has the wherewithal to turn a future profit. OK, so... At the moment, you're not making any money. Um, not real money. By yet. far, yes, I would say so. No, yeah. no. So, what's the potential? What about the big supermarket chains? Have you approached any of those? Um, we are currently having conversation with Morrison. And are you having that directly or through a distributor? It's actually our key distributors who um, get us, put us in touch with Morrison. Fan, when you're dealing with your distributor, what margin are they taking? Around thir uh, 20 to 30 per cent. And the retailer will take another 30. The retailer is taking their profit. Yeah. In, in the middle, you've got your distributor, what's his margin? Mm -hmm. and, and really, the person who should be making the profit is you, and you can't dictate your profit. It's like the perfect storm for you. You know? You need help everywhere to make this into a profitable business. I would have to be juggling everything to help you. That, that's not going to be possible. And for that reason, Fan, I wish you all the best, but I'm out. One dragon down, as Tuka Suleiman deems this deal to be more trouble than it's worth. Will Deborah Meaden be any more inclined to fund Fan's fungi-flavoured fare? You're in a really competitive marketplace. Do you know, this is the stage where you probably make the highest margin you will ever make. Because those sort of niche stores, they're happy to do a deal with you, they're happy to range you, and you get a decent margin. You start getting into the big guys, and I'm telling you, your margins are going to be absolutely sliced. I mean, I, all of the other words you've said, I completely agree with. They're lovely. People are interested in eating them. I can see there'd be a big market and I can see it can grow, but if you can't make money in it, you're not an investment. So I won't be an investor. So I'm sorry I'm out. Your product is beautiful and lovely and I congratulate you for putting a great product and bringing it to market. But my real concern though is how does this business make money even as it scales? Even investing 60K, I think it will take so long to even think about getting a return on that money for an investor at the moment. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. Thank you. 
Okay, so I love the product. Okay. But the thing that's stopping me from wanting to invest today, I feel like you've memorised the numbers, not understood them. And you've had quite a lot of challenges around margin. And in that situation, it terrifies me to put any of my money into this business because you haven't demonstrated that you understand the mechanics of how to make money. So I'm really sorry today. I won't be investing in a lot. Fan fails to convince three further dragons she has the entrepreneurial chops to change her fortunes. Only Stephen Bartlett has yet to show his hand. Um, this is one of those businesses that's come into the den where I know I'm going to be stocking the office full of them. But when I look at the numbers, it leaves a bit of a, a bad taste in my mouth. I'm quite confident in three years' time I can pay back 60k. I think in order to do that, well, I'd have to take, what, 50% of your business to do that almost. Yeah. Are you... Sorry? I'm listening. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to do that. OK. You know, yeah, you, you wouldn't want that either. No. As an entrepreneur. So um, on that basis, I don't think it's an investable business for me. So I'm going to say that I'm out, and I wish you the very best. Thank you very much for time. Thank you, Fred. Good, Good luck. luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's all over for the snack entrepreneur. Fans' product won admirers, but when it came to the crunch, she couldn't bag a dragon. I'm slightly disappointed, but um, the big chunk of the reason is because I didn't get the number straight. So, yeah, I need to work on the figures, and I probably need some professional help around those figures. I don't have the investment today, but I got five happy customers, which I love, yeah.